Hi YouTube, how you doing? It's your girl Fifi. So I decided to do a story time tonight to explain why I don't like dating younger men. Okay, in 2000, it was like 2005. No, I met him like 2002. Hey, like 2002, I met this guy. I was like in my early 30s or whatever. And he was in his 20s. He lied about his age, but like I had found out like one later, whatever the case was. So I was dating this younger guy. He was very attractive. Like we go to the store, you know, women follow him, they looking. He goes somewhere by himself to get something to eat. They try to write their numbers on the bag, everything. He was very attractive. He was so insecure. Oh my God. So, I gave it about, I think about, I don't even know if it was a month in. He was just possessive and extremely jealous. He eventually started stalking me. I would be talking to my neighbor, and she will tell me, like, oh, I saw you little boot thing over there. I'm like, when? And she's like, last night he was parked by your car. And I'm like. He wasn't over here. So he would just be sitting in the parking lot. And then one night I was out. It had got to the point where I would sneak out of my house, go out the back way or whatever, just in case he was outside the parking lot. And, you know, I wasn't used to that. And so he kept calling my phone, kept calling my phone. I never would answer it. So then when I got home, I lit. And, um... He was on the phone crying, like, where are you? Why are you not at home? I've been calling you. I've been crying like somebody was dying. So I'm like, oh, my God. I was like, just come over here. He was like, I can't drive because I can't see. He was just crying at her. I, like, I was not used to that. That was so fucking crazy to me. So then when he got there, he came in, and he was, like, crying, crying, crying. And he was like, how he wants to... Leave me alone, but something in his head was, t no, it was something in his head, his voices in his head was telling him to leave me alone, but he couldn't, and his dad, he had a deceased father, so he was like, he didn't know if that was his dad trying to tell him to leave me alone, and he was just bawling, crying, so I was like, this, this boy, you're crazy, so I didn't want him to know, like, like, the address of my job, nothing after that when I was dealing with him, so. We, we, I still was dealing with him. I think that was like, I don't know. We go places. I can be fooling with my shooter. He'll bust out like, oh, who is he? How you know him? Why he keep looking over here? And I haven't even saw who he was talking about yet. It was just real weird. And so this was the start that broke the camel back. What happened? I don't know. I was just sick of him. I was like, look. You, I, I can't do it no more. And we was riding in my truck. I was driving. And so he was like crying and he was tripping or whatever. And then I always thought he had split, like a split personality or something. Then he started looking crazy. Then he just, while I was driving, he just grabbed my sternum. Yeah, yanked my sternum wheel around. <sighs> I pulled up on the side of the road. I was like, look. Yeah. Oh, before that, my truck was going from side to side. Cause I, had, I had a, um, I think I had an explore. Yeah, that's my explore. So it was just like teeter totter, teeter totter, going side to side. And like, we were on a, a highway that's normally real busy, but so happened this particular night it wasn't. So I finally get, I, I managed to get off the freeway. So when I got off the freeway, he just crying, he just crying. So I'm talking to him. I kind of convinced him, like, I'm, you know, I'm not going to be driving with you. you know, you're trying to kill yourself and me. And that was crazy. And I, I talked to him. I used to have to talk to him like he was actually my child. I talked to him, and he calmed down or whatever. So then we went to where we was going. But then after that, it was a wrap. I never fooled him again. Even to this day, he still tried to talk to me. And he, like, um... And he gonna see me. I'm not bad as well, though, y'all. 
when he, when is he going to see me when we going out or whatever? I was like, oh, huh, no, we going Girl, I would never go nowhere with him. He turned me out for young guys. He actually turned me out for light-skinned guys because I had, like, when I was, like, in my early 20s, I dated this guy. I was crazy about him. That's when I was color struck. And back then, he had to look good hair and the pretty eyes. I was talking to him. And then he did something similar. I was in the car with him and his cousin. And he ch and we got into it or whatever. He tried to drive into a building. His cousin in the back seat. Yeah. Just hollering like a woman. So I'm like, oh, no. I didn't fool with him no more neither. We had time for it. Nah, that was my boot thing now. Mm -hmm. That's the first person that was just giving me y'all that money and everything. And I was young. But him, he was so crazy. When I moved, he could not know any of my information. He was the type that he would have saw me somewhere. He might have tried to fight whoever I was with. Like, it's just, he could have been with somebody. He was just crazy like that. He was with one little Frenchman. Recently, like, I had, I talked to him. He was like, when, when I'm going to take you out, I'm like, oh, okay, I don't know, I'll let you know. Like, yeah, I'm going to put you in my trunk because you're going to never come see me, see? And that's why you're not ever going to see me. Uh-uh. I can't do crazy. He was like, when the two light-skinned ones. And the women, like, really wanted them. They was crazy. So this was a two-part story. This is like, why don't they young, younger men? And why I stopped, because I used to only would like light skin men. That was back in the 80s or whatever, you know, 90s. That's back in those days when that was popular. Mm -mm. After that, I've been living on me some chocolate. Yeah, but mm -mm. I had two uh, murder suicide experiences with them fools and never then. So tell me what you think, but yeah, that's why I don't like. Young men, because that boy was stalking me. It was to the point, like, I would have to hurry up and try to, when I get out of work or whatever, try to take a bath before he get to the house, because he would want, he think he's supposed to, uh, I, I had no privacy. Like, it was ridiculous. And that's why I like staying by myself, being by myself. Like, if I'm even in a serious relationship, that person would have to have their own space. I need my space. That, that boy there. That was a bad experience. Yeah, was, uh, yeah. But that's why I don't like younger men. They always try to talk to me. But I can't do it. And I'll come back and talk about why. I, right now I'm at the point I don't like dating in general. And, okay, so tell me what you think about my stories with two psychotic crazy people. <laughs> And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Bye.